Hi guys, so I know I've been MIA for a couple weeks. Um, that is due to um, some family issues that have happened over the last couple weeks. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, on my um, fan page, then you already know what's going on. So this is no news to you. But for those of you who don't, um, I'm not going to go into full detail. Um, but the link to my Facebook fan page will be in the down bar below. <clears throat> so if you want to go over there and follow, you know, my status updates of what's been going on, um, you're more than welcome to. But I will give a brief description of what has been going on with me. Um, August 13th, which was, uh, I think I was 13 weeks around that time, um, I have found my mom slumped over in her bed. She moved in with me three months ago and her health has gotten so bad she didn't need to be by herself anymore. She needed to be with someone who could take care of her. And me being the child that has her head on her shoulders and stuff, um, she chose to come stay with me. And like I said, August 13th, it was 11 o'clock in the morning. I seen her slumped over in her bed. She was barely breathing. She was just gasping for air. And um, I had to do CPR on her until the ambulance got there. And she was unresponsive. You know, she, it was like she was already gone. Um, as soon as the ambulance got there, they took over, they took my mom to the hospital, they had hooked her up to a ventilator, and we ended up having to make the decision to take her off the ventilator that following Sunday, this happened on a Tuesday on the 13th, that following Sunday, we made the decision to take her off of it. I had to sign a DNR, which was very hard, which is do not resuscitate. Um, so it's been really rough for me these last couple weeks. Um, my mom, we were told by the neurologist that due to her being unresponsive and not breathing that good. She must have been like that for some time. We don't know how long. Um, and it just really bothered me for the longest time because I was literally 20 feet away from her. You know, I mean, we were sleeping, so we don't know when it happened. And um, I woke up, you know, of course found her in her room and the doctor, the neurologist came into the hospital and told me that both sides of my mom's brain were completely gone. She had no brain functions going on whatsoever on right or left side. The only thing working was her brain stem and that was able to keep her breathing on her own. Um, so we ended up having to make the decision to take her off the ventilator because it wasn't really doing anything for her. She had a living will so we carried out our wishes and took her off. And hoped for a miracle, you know, after that, but that following Thursday, 4.53 in the morning, my mom passed away. Um, her heart rate got up to 265 beats a minute, and that, she's 61 years old, so she had a really good heart, they said, for her heart to have carried on that many beats, but with the high heart rate, her blood pressure had dropped, so um, I got the phone call, and it was shortly before 5 o'clock from my aunt who stayed up at the hospital with her that night and told me your mom's declining, you need to get up to the hospital as soon as possible. So I was like 20 minutes away from the hospital. As soon as we got to the driveway, I mean I literally just threw on some clothes and ran out the door. Um, as soon as I got in the driveway to get in the car and back out, I got the phone call that mom had already passed. So I've been going through a grieving process. It's not been easy. It's not been fun. And I'm looking at my mom's things every day and it just makes it harder. And I'm so thankful for having my brother and my sister around because I don't think I could do this by myself. And my husband has been such a great support. You know, and my kids keep me busy. This pregnancy has kind of acted as a shield to keep me from stressing so much on what's going on with my mom and what's happened. You know, because I'm having something at the same time to look forward to, if you know what I'm saying. So that's what's been going on with us. We had the funeral this past Sunday and today's Wednesday. Um, I probably won't get this video edited and uploaded until Friday, but I'm just making this video now and wanted to update you guys. Um, so I'm going to go over week 13 and 14. Um, 14 weeks and 5 days today. Um, I'll turn 15 weeks on Friday. I turn 13 weeks on August 16th. 
Um, and my symptoms, like I've mentioned, were just blocked out of pregnancy that whole week because I was so worried about what was going on with my mom. I wasn't eating right, you know, I wasn't drinking enough fluids. Um, I, w I just, to be completely honest, I wasn't taking care of myself because I was so worried about my mom. Um, so as far as like symptoms go, I don't remember a whole lot that week except for what was going on with my mom. Um, so I did try to think of what I could and I wrote it down. So um, the baby that week was the size of a pea pod, weighed nearly an ounce, and was three inches long. Um, fingerprints have been formed, and if it's a girl, she has more than two million eggs already in her ovaries. Um, I did crave beef jerky at the end of week 13, and I'm still craving it now into week 14, almost 15. Um, I've also been craving soda. Um, I think I was craving that in my last vlog, I told you guys. Um, but I've been wanting caffeine like crazy. Um, I'm peeing a lot more, definitely, for sure. I'm having to pee, like, every 15, 20 minutes, it seems like. Um, fatigue has been hitting me at night, which I've been so tired anyways, running up to the hospital back and forth every day for almost a week. So, you know, after a while, that kind of wore me out. Um, but I have been sleeping pretty good at night, as far as that goes. I mean, as soon as my head hits the pillow... I am out like a light, and that's how I am right now. I think I'm just still exhausted from everything that's been going on this last couple weeks. Um, I've had a heightened sense of smell, and um, that's been pretty annoying. <laughs> like, when my mom passed away, um, the, uh, I don't want to, like, say too much. That's, like, TMI, but um, when you're pregnant and you go through this, if you have, you know what I'm talking about, but... The human body, when it passes, everything is relaxed, and there's body excretions, excretions, I think I'm saying that right, that come out. And if any of you have heard the smell of death, um, that's what I was smelling up at the hospital in my mom's room. And having a heightened sense of smell as it is, I couldn't stay in the room because it bothered me so bad. Um, the nurse came in, she sprayed some air freshener, she told me, you know, honey, if you can't handle it, you don't have to go in there, your mom knows that you were here. So, it made me feel better, and I couldn't stay long, so we ended up leaving. Um, we had to go do, like, funeral arrangement plans and everything anyways, but, um, because I've had a heightened sense of smell, I've been staying sick a lot more here recently, um, where I'm actually vomiting more than what I have been, um, I, uh, due to me being sick, and I'm probably getting ahead of my notes here, due to me being so sick and the stress and everything, I was down 6 pounds. Um, I was weighing 133 pounds this past Saturday. Um, I think in my last video, I told you guys I did the live weigh-in and I was weighing 139. So, I've lost 6 pounds in 2 weeks. <clears throat> and that was due to stress and vomiting because I just couldn't handle certain smells. Um... Also, my appetite is still not very good. Like, I can take three or four bites and be completely full. Um, I've had really bad headaches. They've been so bad. I know they've been stress-related. Um, I've been able to take just one Tylenol and just knock it out. Um, and that usually clears up within, like, 30 minutes after I've taken it. Um, like I said, I had no appetite, so I got a little ahead of myself here on the notes. Um, I don't think th that... I mean, I know I had no appetite in the beginning of my pregnancy, but I think now um, it's a lot to do with stress as well because I'm that kind of person. Some people, when you stress out, you eat a lot. With me, I lose my appetite completely. Like, I just, I can't bear the thought of food. So, um, I've been having to force food down. Even when I'm full, I'm having to force what I got left on my plate down. Um, the nausea, it comes and goes, but like I mentioned, I'm still vomiting. It kind of came and just hit me full force. I'm in my second trimester now. And normally that has subsided by now. And it hasn't with me. Um, for 14 weeks, I turned 14 weeks on August 23rd. Um, the baby is now um, the size of a lemon. And it's one and a half ounces in weight. The baby can grasp now, so it can take its hands and it can grasp things like the umbilical cord. 
Um, the kidneys are producing urine. The baby can squint, frown, grimace, pee, and suck its thumb, which is pretty amazing because the baby is like so, so tiny still. Um, the baby has, for this week, the baby is developing ultra-fine downy hair called Lanugo, and that is developing all over its body. I had a doctor's appointment today, um, and I did the weigh-in when I got there. I weighed 135, so I gained back two pounds, um, which is good. I have noticed my appetite has increased a little bit over the last couple days. Um, as soon as I got in the room, I told the nurse I needed to talk to Dr. Sawyer about my mother passing because I feel like if you have something that is life-changing and you're pregnant, your OB should definitely know about it because it could affect you, it could affect your baby. So I let her know and she was just, I mean, she said we, we could have talked for hours. Like she just, you know, was asking me questions and stuff on how I was doing and if it was unexpected finding my mom like that and stuff and I told her yeah you know my mom was only 61 years old and I'm only 26 you know and it's just not been easy and she was so compassionate and understanding and very supportive and instead of me going back in four weeks um she's got me coming back in two weeks because I told her since I have a history of depression um I want to stay in touch with her on my emotions and my feelings um because she had told me they don't like to give depression medicine to women when you're pregnant but if depression becomes an issue to the point where you need it, then she said, we will give you it. But I told her, I said, I think I'm going to be okay. You know, being pregnant is kind of shielding me from all the sadness because it's giving me something to look forward to. Not that I'm not crying because I cry every day. You know, I've just lost my mom. That's really, really hard. And it's, I'm still in like the shock mode of it. So it's kind of like, it's set in, but like it's not, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, oh, she's gonna come back, you know? But in reality, I know she's not. Um, so me and her discussed that, and she's gonna have me come back in two weeks, which will be on, oh geez, I can't remember what day. Oh, September 11th, um, at 10 after eight in the morning. So bright and early, I'll be going back to see her on September 11th. And then she went on ahead and um, scheduled me for the gender scan ultrasound so I'm looking forward to that I'm very excited it's giving me something to stay positive for um, she did ask me if I wanted to have the uh, blood work done to check for Down syndrome I told her no and she agreed with me she said you know what I think with everything that's going on with you right now it would just be something else for you to worry about she said um, either way at the gender ultrasound the anatomy scan they're gonna check for that anyways so it wasn't really necessary for me to have to do it um, so we talked about that and then um, I go October 2nd um, at 10 o'clock a.m. that morning to the imaging center to have our gender scan however we will not find out what the gender is then I'm hoping to um, have our gender party two weeks after that um, 16th or the 17th because um, my son is on fall break that week so it would work out perfectly and my husband's off on those two days um, my friend is throwing us the shower, so, or not the shower, the gender party, so, um, I'm hoping she can work around it for those days. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much everything. Um, like I said, I go back in two weeks to see her instead of four, and I have the gender scan done October 2nd, but, um, I will do, like, footage and pictures and all that good stuff of the gender party whenever that time gets near. Um, and let you guys know what we're having, obviously. I can't keep y'all in, uh, what do you call it? I can't, like, not tell you guys. You guys have to know. Um, one of my, um, YouTube followers sent me a package, and she sent me this. It's the Intelligender Boy or Girl Gender Prediction Test. And she had also sent me a really sweet card. I can find it right here. And their cards are so cute. So she sent me a card and she wrote a really nice letter on the inside. And um, I'm really excited to take this. Like even though we're not going to find out what we're having, this is just something fun and extra to do. So until that party gets here, I figured I would do this this week so that you guys can have something to look forward to also. I've never done one of these, but I've always wanted to. So I'm really excited. So I want to say thank you, Kelly for sending me this. I'm so excited and I can't wait to do it. Um, and I will be recording footage of that too for you guys. 
um, baby buys for this week, well these last couple weeks, I bought a, it looks kind of green green, but it's actually like a turquoise, and it's just a little photo album, and I got this because I figured I could put my ultrasound pictures in it, and I can also put the disc here whenever we have the ultrasound done. So I got this, um, and we also bought another box of the Similac Simply Smart Bottles. We went on ahead and got the 4 ounce ones since we got the 8 ounce ones last time. Um, the reason why I got another box of these is because another one of my followers sent me a bunch of coupons and one of them was for $4 off any Similac Simply Smart Bottles. So these were $6.97. So I paid $2.97 for two of these. Um, getting the $4 off. So that was really awesome. And thank you so much for that coupon. I really appreciate it because these may just be the ones that we decide to go with. So now we've got four. <laughs> um, also, I went to Kohl's Monday and I had picked up a baby blanket. My mom told me, well, my mom had bought a baby blanket for both my boys when they were born. And they were the same type of material and she told me that she wanted to buy this baby one too. Kind of carry on the tradition. So, went to Kohl's and I told myself I was going to get a baby blanket. I had a $10 off card and also a 15% off promo code. So the um, blanket that I've got was this one and it's gender neutral. Um, it's kind of like that minky type material. A very, very soft and it's got this pretty lime green, it's like block squares. And then on the other side we got some orange and there's even some light baby blue. There's even some yellow mixed in with it. Um, and then on the inside of it, it's like a terry cloth towel in a way, um, really soft, and it's got that lime green color to it, and there's also some tan, so I really like it, I think it's cute for a boy or a girl, um, so yeah, so I got this, and when I got in the car, I said, Mom, this is for you, so I really like it, so we got this, um, and with my $10 off coupon, or my card I got in the mail, my 15% off promo code, um, the retail price of this blanket was $22. They had it on sale for $15.40. So after the $10 was applied in the 15%, I was down to $5.03. So that's all I paid for that blanket. And it retailed for $22. And it was on sale for $15.40. So I think I got a pretty good deal. Um, also, I wanted to real quickly show you guys something I just made for a customer with Ribbons Boutique. I just finished it up the other day. I got a few things I need to add to it, but it's overall finished. Um, I did this shirt, or onesie, sorry, and it's got uh, the, her daughter's name on here, and it's um, glittery. I don't know if you can see. And then it's got a um, purple and white chevron one, because she's turning one. So this is a birthday tutu outfit I made, and here's the tutu. So cute. It's like glittery and white and purple. It's on a crochet waistband, but this goes with it. It's kind of hard to show it all in one scene here. Um, but yeah. And then also I had made the matching. Oh, let me show you guys this real quick. This actually, I'm going to have to buy, this is what I was saying. It's pretty much overall done, but I got to buy some clips. Um, I got to put a clip, alligator clip on the back of this. And then this will clip onto the tutu, onto the crochet waist, here, that you can see, right here. And it'll clip onto there like that. So there'll be like a little bow in there. Um, and I made a crochet headband, and I hand stitch them. So I made one of those, and her bow. It's got a cute little glittery cupcake in the center with a rhinestone and some little accent bows here on the sides and some spikes. So, and I've got glitter all over me now, but this will go on here. Like that. So, that is something I made for my customer. I haven't got it packaged or mailed yet, so I wanted to show you guys real quickly. So, um, that is all the baby buys. I will do a belly shot and then we'll do a live weigh in. Okay, so here is the belly for week 14. I did post a picture of week 13 on my Facebook fan page. Um, 
but I'll include, of course, a picture at the end of this video of week 13 also. I can tell I've def definitely popped out since then, so, yeah. I've got a definite bump there. Here's the front. And this side. Okay, so let's do a live weigh-in. Okay, so when I went to the doctor, I weighed 135. Oops. Air. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, let's try this again. 136. So I guess it depends on what you've eaten also because um, I did eat McDonald's after I left my doctor's appointment because we didn't leave until 1 o'clock. So my husband had an appointment at the same time I did. So it took us a while to get out of there. But, um, yeah, I guess that extra pound is from eating. So, anyways, I will talk to you. So, thank you all for watching, and I will keep you all posted. And if you have any questions or comments, just post them in the down bar below, and I would be happy to answer them. Um, if any of you want to place an order with Ribbons Boutique, um, you're more than welcome to send me an inbox message of what you would like, or if you have any questions, um, please feel free to let me know. And all my links will be in the down bar below. All right, guys. I also almost forgot to mention to you guys, um, I got to hear the baby's heartbeat today. She did the Doppler, which she'll do that with every visit I have from here on out. Um, but the baby's heart rate was 125, and she said that was really good. Um, it didn't really hit me, though, until after I got out of the doctor's office. I got to thinking, 125, that's, that's low, you know, because normally in all my pregnancies with my babies, their heart rates have been anywhere between the 140s to the 160s. But, um... She doesn't seem concerned. She said it was really good, so I'm trying not to stress about it. Um, but uh, dehydration and, you know, not eating can also cause that as well. Or if the baby is sleeping, the baby can have a slow heart or a slower heart rate. Um, so I'm trying not to stress too much about it. But have any of you ever had a baby at 14 weeks or somewhere within that range um, where their heart rate was in the 120s? I've heard, you know, the 120s to the 180s is quite normal. So... Um, the fact that I've never had a baby during pregnancy with that low of a heart rate, it did concern me. So, um, but I'm trying not to stress about it. You know, my doctor's not concerned. So, you know, I'm just thinking it's just, you know, every pregnancy is different. So, yeah.